So you'd like to know how to use Procreate to make line drawings for mosaics. Well, you're in the right place. I'm Helen Miles and I'm here to teach you all the tips and tricks you need to make mosaics. In this first part, we're going to be looking at importing um, a photograph and sizing your design. And then in the second part, we're going to be looking at how to tweak the design to make it how you like it. For those of you who don't know, Procreate is an app which is available on an iPad. So in order to use Procreate, you obviously need an iPad and you also need an iPencil. The reason I'm talking about Procreate is I think it's absolutely brilliant. I tried Adobe products before and maybe I'm just not, you know, very capable, not very bright, but it, they completely flummoxed me. Whereas Procreate is intuitive and easy to use and it solved all my digital design problems. So I can really, really recommend it. In fact, I'd almost say it's worth having an iPad, iPad and an iPencil just for Procreate. To use Procreate, the first thing you need to do, of course, is download the app. So we're going into App Store here and searching for Procreate. So that is the logo for Procreate, so you'll recognise that. Um, I have already bought it, so therefore I don't have to buy it, so I could just press open to open it. But it, it, you do have to pay for it. At the moment, it's £12.99 UK money, i.e. sterling, uh, which is very reasonable. And it's just a one-off payment. Once you've bought the app, it will turn up as a little icon on your home screen. So just press the icon and you'll get straight into the Procreate app. So I already have a lot of files on here, but when you buy it, it will be more or less clean, although there'll be a few preloaded um, works, artworks already on the screen, but there's no reason to keep them. I've got rid of most of them except for this one. Once you're ready to start working on your first design, Press that little plus sign in the upper right hand corner to start a new design. And you'll be offered all these different options of different sizes of template that you'll be using for your design. And I just choose screen size. So now I have a completely clean blank canvas. Now you're inside your first design. And you're going to make sure that you're on layer one. So you see that little icon at the top right again. This with what looks like two pages, one in front of the other. That is the layers. So I tap, tap on that and layer one is what I'm working on now. And the layers are very important because you'll see what I mean as we get through the video but the essential principle of Procreate is each part of the design is going to be on a different layer, which means you can easily make changes to your design without changing the whole thing. So I'll explain that as we go, go along. The next thing you need to do is tap on the little icon of the paintbrush here. And that will give you an enormous range of brushes and um, pencils and pens and all different kinds of tools for, for painting and drawing. So, for example, you could use, choose a charcoal. This is called a charcoal roll. And that's what it would look like. Or you could choose um, painting and choose a, a brush.
But for the purposes of mosaic design, I just use the monoline um, brush, which is under calligraphy here, monoline. And that is just a simple line like that. If you want to make the pen stroke thicker, you see this slider on the right, although sometimes it's in on different parts of the screen, but basically it will be visible on the screen. So I just slide this up and it will show you that the pen is getting thicker. Or down, and then that's just a very thin line. And the second part of this slider, the lower half, is the opacity of the line. So at the moment I've got it on 100%, but if I put it down, the line would be much more faded. One thing you need to learn really early on is how to erase. So if you just take your first two fingers and tap on the screen, the latest thing that you drew will disappear. So you can keep going like that. And there you go, it's gone. I'm not going to be talking about colour in this video because that's a whole different thing on Procreate. At the moment, all I, I want to teach you is how to create a line drawing using Procreate for mosaics. But if you did want to change the colour, you see that little black circle at the top? That's black because my pen is black. But if I press the black circle and I could choose, let's say, let's make it green. So within this um, inner circle, I press the green and then the circle here changes to green. And so therefore my pen becomes green. When you're designing mosaics, you usually have a size in mind. So the thing you need to do is go to the top left-hand corner and go to that little spanner, tap on that, and you'll have an option, a canvas option. Choose canvas and then click on drawing guide. So now you can see the screen is covered with squares. Let's say that I wanted my mosaic to be 30 centimeters square. So I would, I'm going to count each square as two centimeters. So therefore I count 15 squares. I'm then going to draw a line, which is 15 squares long. And if you hold your pen in place, the line will automatically straighten, which is very clever. Because I'm making a square, obviously all four sides are going to be equal. So therefore I can duplicate this layer. However, I don't want those little dots that I drew to, in, to help me measure out um, the length of the line. So I'm going to press the little eraser icon here and rub them out. Then I'm going back into the layer tab, those two little pages, um, the icon of two little pages at the top right, clicking on that and you can see layer one with my simple line on it. And I'm going to take layer one and pull it over to the left and press duplicate. So now I have two layers, two straight lines, and I want four. So I'm going to duplicate again and again. You will notice that although I've, in theory, duplicated this line four times or three extra times, it's not actually showing up on the screen. So now you go to the top right-hand corner, left-hand corner, sorry, press that little arrow and it will highlight um, one of your duplications. So now I'm going to take my pen and pull that line down. And I want, 
uh, to turn it so it becomes the side of the square. So I'm pressing on the green, little green button and rotating it and then moving the line to the side of the square. So now I want to do that again with the other duplications which are hidden within our first line. So I'll choose the next layer down, highlight it and then move it. Now I have the four sides of the square, which I know is 15 um, boxes, which each represents two centimetres. So it's a 30 centimetre square. Um, and I have four different layers for each side of the square. In theory, I can label the square, the layers by pressing on them and choosing rename and giving it a name. But uh, there's no need really to do that for something like the frame around your design because you simply have to look in the layers and you'll see what they are. It's obvious. The next thing I'm going to do is get rid of the drawing assist because I don't need those little squares in the background anymore. So I go back to the top left corner. I press on the little spanner go down to Drawing Guide and take it off. Now I'm going to insert a photograph. So I go to back to my little spanner, top left, and I go to the furthest left where there's a little plus sign and it says Add. So I press Add and I have various options and one of them is Insert a Photo. So that's taking me immediately to my photos in within my camera. So I'm going to click on this photograph and there it is. If you go back into your layers, you will see that a, a new layer has automatically been created for the image that has been at, just added. However, the image is much too big for my square. So I'm going to press the little arrow here and then it's highlighted and drag it until it becomes nearer the size that I want. And I'm inserting it into my square. Maybe a bit bigger. I'm just popping up quickly to say, um, if you're using any photograph or image, make sure that it's yours to use. If you go on Wiki Commons, you will find a lot of images of ancient mosaics, which are totally free to download and use as you wish. So that's something that, uh, that's one option. Also, I'm sure you'll have lots of photographs of your own, of things that have inspired and excited you. So do make sure it's your own image or that you have the right to use it um, and that it doesn't belong to an artist who's put a lot of time and trouble into that image and or into that work and that work belongs to them. That is part one of two parts looking at how to use Procreate to make line drawings for mosaics. So don't forget to tune in to the second part, which will show you how to manipulate the image. And if you like this video and you'd like to see more, then please subscribe below.